Whee! Hello everyone, I am Third Mario Brother, and welcome back to Sonic Generations. In the last episode, we completed the final level of this era, which was Planet Wisp, and unlocked the rival battle and the challenge gates of this era, which we will be taking on this time. So, let's go ahead and ride this platform up here. I'm actually not sure where the rival battle is. I think it's more over here to the left. But this time, as promised in the last episode, we are going to be taking on Silver the Hedgehog from Sonic the Hedgehog 2006. He was in a couple games other than that one since then, but that was his debut title. So here we are, Silver. Let's go. Sonic? Is that really you? Or are you some kind of fake sent for the Chaos Emeralds? And apparently that's the way that they're reconciling the fact that Sonic and Silver aren't exactly enemies. But here we go, facing off against Silver the Hedgehog for one of the final Chaos Emeralds in the game. Let's go ahead and let's get to it. Here it is, the rival battle against Silver the Hedgehog in presumably the ever-destroyed Crisis City. And it looks like we missed the hit that you can possibly get right off the bat. I'm never really fast enough to react to get that one, man. But either way, you're going to notice right off the bat that we are facing a very, very powerful opponent. This fight itself, not especially difficult, but Silver as a character is super powerful. He's got the telekinesis going on, and he is a force to be reckoned with. It is no use if you run out of boost in this match. Actually, there are rings everywhere and there are cars that you can run through to get your boost meter back up so it's not really that big of a deal but that's one of the things that you're gonna have to worry about in this battle is running out of boost so you're gonna see me especially on these segments where it doesn't really matter whether you're boosting or not until we get on top of this of course then we're definitely gonna want to boost but you're going to see me probably conserving a lot of boost because that seems to be my whoa camera angle what are you doing bro <laughs> okay never actually seen that happen in this game before but you're probably gonna see me conserving boost uh when i possibly can and Whoa, what is going on? Oh my god, dude. What is up with all the glitches in this episode? I have no idea, but Silver is going to use his telekinesis powers and try to chuck stuff at you, and you're going to have to take advantage of the objects that he tries to throw at you in order to get a couple hits on him. Like I said, you can get that free one right off the bat, but I missed that because I'm a dumb and I ain't got no reflexes, man. But Silver the Hedgehog is a hedgehog that's whose reputation is a little bit strange among the Sonic fanbase. If you're not privy to the uh, popular opinion of the Sonic fanbase, none of them really like Sonic 06. Well, some people like Sonic 06. I can't really see too many justifiable reasons for that personally. But some people like Sonic 06. The vast majority of the fanbase was not super, super fond of it. So Silver has a really mixed reputation. I personally think he could be a really cool par character. I mean, Shadow's got the chaos power. Sonic has got the incredible speed that he's known for in the... Uh, heroic personality, which is sort of his greatest weapon, and Silver's got his own thing in the uh, telekinesis, and that could be really cool. He could be a really great character. Perhaps, however, the it's no use from Sonic 06 was not his best introduction possible to the Sonic fanbase. So, let's go ahead and dodge this gigantic column that he is throwing at us right now. Can we get him? Ah, so close! And I'm like out of boost now, man. I have no idea what to do, but we're right up there. So, Let's go ahead and smack Silver in the face, and that's going to do it for this gray little hedgehog with so much potential. <laughs> and yes, that does it for the third rival battle of Sonic Generations. And I like how you can see, like, one... <laughs> <laughs> one piece of boulder off there in the background that was bouncing around more like a piece of styrofoam or one of those boulders from Nickelodeon Guts than an actual boulder would. But you know what? I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with the 500 different glitches that we've experienced in this episode so far. Let's make it 600 by the episode by the end of the episode. How do you guys feel about that one? So, now that we are done with silver, we get the silver chaos emerald. Oh man, I wonder if they did that on purpose. <laughs> And we can continue on and go into some uh, challenge gates. So let's go ahead. And Crisis City is actually the first area that you tackle with this. So what is this? I have no idea what this pointing finger thing stands for. Switcheroo. Put your brain to the test by hitting switches to get to the goal in time. Oh boy, we're going to do a puzzle. Or we could uh, call for Vector to get by spots we can't pass. And, eh, let's go ahead and go for that one. I have no idea what this is going to be. Probably going to end up regretting it because a lot of the extra character missions in this game are, uh, I, I don't want to say gimmicky, but they're a little bit clunkier than the rest of the game feels. Either way, let's get started with this Vector mission. Vector through the storm. And wow, if you don't know that Vector is the name of a very, very comical, stupid crocodile, 
That is a really cool sounding game. All right, thanks, man. So we're playing this with Classic Sonic here in Crisis City, and is this... Okay, Vector, what are you doing? Okay, he is... Whoa, 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 whoa. Chucking us is apparently what's going on right now. And it looks like there are going to be, um guidelines for where we should throw Sonic. So let's throw him straight up, and yep, it looks like that takes us to the platform that we need to get to. However, I'm not entirely sure what the optimal routes on this level are. I feel like this is the kind of level where you could have, like, 18 different routes, and some of them are a lot faster than others, and especially if you know when to use Vector, when to utilize his abilities, and when to not, because I'm sure there are a bunch of shortcuts, and whoa, yay, we made it up, even though his little pink line guiding us on where we should go was not on the screen, and oh my god, this is going to be stupid difficult, it looks like, if we actually have to deal with that flame tornado in the back. Because that thing, on my first run through of Crisis City, as you guys saw, was kind of my mortal enemy. <laughs> this time around, however, it doesn't seem like it's that bad, so let's just go ahead and... Uh, I could have hit that spring, but it looks like this is actually the way we want to go, so... Ooh! Vector, 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 Buddy, buddy, pal, man. <laughs> Turn around! It looks like we are going to want to not get thrown directly into one of those, and hopefully not get thrown into the tornado. Whoa, no, Vector! You threw me off the edge, man. What is going on with that? Why? I trusted you. I trusted you so holistically with my life, and you just threw me away. How could you, Vector? Uh, at least there's a checkpoint right here so that we can try that one more time. Yeah, we got it! We actually lived this time! Okay. So, Classic Sonic, terrified as he is to actually trust Vector with his life. Oh, I shouldn't have jumped in the air. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Ah. Ah. Everything's falling apart. The wind is going on. I cannot handle this. I absolutely cannot handle this worth crap, man. So the wind is going on. The tornado is going on. We have to deal with Vector. We have to deal with all this crap at once. And oh my god, it's so stressful. Oh, please don't shoot me. Okay. I had just realized that I only had, like, uh, that I didn't have any rings as soon as that guy was about to shoot me in the face, so I was a little bit scared there, needless to say, and whoa! No! Oh my god, there's too much going on on the screen right now, man, I can't handle this! Let's shoot out of this cannon, please tell me there's some solid land nearby or something, I cannot take any more stress, Classic Sonic is going to be old Sonic, whoa! Okay, whoa, 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 okay. I have no idea what direction I'm facing, so I assume this is not the optimal spin dash. Whoa! Oh my god! This is so stressful! This is so terrifying! I have no idea where I'm going, man. I can't tell where I'm going. I can't see where I'm going. I don't know what's going on. It looks like if you get hit, Vector is going to start his throw over. So, if you would be so kind and just let me be alone for one second, my good wormy friend over here on the side, I would be eternally grateful to you, and it looks like, okay, I thought I was gonna die there, but no, let's destroy the worm and continue onward. Man, we're gonna get, like, a B rank on this. I do not like this level. Perhaps it's just me, and perhaps it was a bad idea to, whoa, whoa, what? What? I don't understand. What? Okay, back on this part once again, I've actually died even a couple more times than I did originally. It looks like you can't real, okay, worm, get out of here. <laughs> that thing is so annoying, but it looks like you can't really follow the rings exactly as they look. It looks like you're gonna have to throw even a little bit higher than that, so I don't know what's up with that. I don't know why it doesn't want you to follow the rings exactly. You have to go, like, a little bit above them? I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> Either way, the goal was right there the entire time. I got a freaking D rank! Oh my god, that is disgusting. That is absolutely awful. Ugh. How terribly, terribly embarrassing. At least, at least we had the S rank on the silver fight to sort of make up for that. But a D rank, a freaking D rank on a challenge mission, man. Uh, I can't, I'm, I'm not going to blame it on the game design. Maybe it's possible to, but I'm not going to blame it on that. I'm going to blame it on the fact that I'm not especially used to Vector the Crocodile being the center of attention in my level. So let's go ahead and move on to a challenge gate. Perhaps a slightly more fun one. In fact, let's go Modern Sonic for this one. And let's do something from Rooftop Run. And man. <laughs> Loading times on the PS3 version of Sonic Generations, not the most fun thing in the world. Vector, oh, no, 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 I, I, I don't want to deal with Vector. What is this here? This is a rooftop rail grind. Go boarding across the rooftops and clear the stage in time. Ooh, that sounds fun. The boarding sections... 
I real I preferred them in Sonic Adventure 2, but that's probably just because I got used to the controls as a kid. Now, Rooftop Rail Grind, this promises to be super fun. It's going to take advantage of the Rooftop Run classic, exciting environment, which I am absolutely sure is going to take the uh, whimsy, is, is going to put some more whimsy back into the game, I should say, and take the stress off from that last vector mission, man. Ugh, that was not the most fun I've ever had in the town of Rooftop Run, which is probably saying something. Or actually not saying very much, because I always have fun in Rooftop Run, man. Whoa, it looks like we accidentally took a bit of a shortcut kind of level, so let's go ahead and... Whoa, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, 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 okay. Sonic, here we go. You're gonna have to straighten yourself out, man. I'm really, really, really bad at jumping off these trick ramps at the proper time. Looks like they give you a whole ton of boost energy, though, so if you can get those, those are going to help your time immensely, and it looks like you actually have to press X a little bit before you get onto the ramps, is what it feels like to me, at the very least. So, boost through the window, cause all kinds of property damage, because that is just what little blue hedgehogs tend to do in their spare time, and we can continue onward, and whoa, we're even playing two-dimensional segments with the board? Okay. I don't understand, I don't understand one bit, and what... <laughs> <laughs> okay, apparently that uh, boost ramp was not feeling it today or something, and he did not feel like pushing a gigantic piece of metal over the edge. But you know what? That's all right. Are we playing through? Yeah, we're playing through like a normal segment of the level, just on the on the uh, snowboard thing instead. And I know it's not a snowboard because we're not actually snowboarding per se, but either way, now we can grind down this gigantic rail above Spagonia. Man. I just love this scene so much. I can't get over it no matter how many times I see it. It still gives me goosebumps. Okay, it doesn't actually give me goosebumps. That'd be kind of a lame thing to get goosebumps from, but it's still such an awesome scene. It's so exciting every single time seeing Sonic sliding down that uh, wall there. And it looks like we accidentally took the long route right here, but that's no big deal. I wonder how far we're going to have to go, and it looks like losing your momentum is actually not all that difficult on this bit. And there are bombs this time around that can smack us and get rid of all our rings. Luckily, however, the game designers were kind enough to place a bunch of rings all in that one section, so we don't have to worry about that too, too much. And there we go. We're, what were we, like, two seconds away from an S rank? I think it was 150 for an S rank. But either way, A rank, we got an S rank on the silver fight, and we got ourselves a D rank. Oh, God, on that vector mission. So, I feel like it all balances out. I mean, one failing grade isn't that bad, right? Just kidding, kids. Keep your grades up, man. <laughs> ah, good guy, Brian, with the good guy advice. And, uh... So, we just have a Planet Wisp mission to do next, and I really have no idea what the challenge missions for Planet Wisp look like. So, this one is going to be just as much a surprise to me as it is for you guys. So, let's go ahead and... Alright, those were the challenge... Ah, oh, man! You can actually place the keys in less than three at a time, which I always thought was kind of weird, because it's just kind of a waste of frames. It doesn't really do too much. But let's go ahead and find ourselves the first challenge gate that we can find, because I don't feel like... Wow, we have to go all the way around to find our way back up. Uh -huh. How lame is that, man? Okay, here we go. I finally made it to which Planet Wisp Challenge Gate, and this is going to be the Action Master. Wall Jump, Stomp, and Light Speed Dash your way to the goal before time runs out. Don't know if I want to do that. Try to catch Blaze before the time runs out, but watch out for the bombs. Ooh, that seems... I don't know. That seems kind of all right. I don't really want to do that first one because the light speed dash always seems fairly unresponsive to me. Again, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm used to controls of an older game or something like that, but I don't know. That's how I've always felt, and we finally made it to a Planet Wisp challenge gate. The real challenge here was finding the challenge gate, but anyway, here we go. Let's chase after Blaze. Catch me if you can. All right, you asked for a lady. Now, where is Blaze? Okay, she's up there, and it looks like we're going to get guidance the entire time, but it looks like this is going to be a Spike Wisp-oriented level, and uh, I have no idea where Blaze has gone, and she's already outrunning me. Oh, how wonderful. <laughs> so, um, I don't really know what this level is going to entail. How big is this place, and how fervently are we going to have to chase after Blaze in order to actually find her? What is going on here? Yeah, okay, it looks like we're going to have to punch her in the face to be able to complete this level success successfully. Blah. Go, go, go! She's like right there, man! Okay, it looks like she picks up speed relatively quickly sometimes, but there we go, we won, and wow! Wow, wow! We got a total time of 10 seconds. I know that's mostly because we got timers and stuff like that, but an S rank was 40 seconds, and we did way better than that. We creamed the time, even though I kind of had no idea what I was doing, and I'm sure that most of that was up to luck. But, you know, I kind of do like the Spike Wisp now that I think about it. I don't like how much it was used in the first act of Planet Wisp, but I do like it. It feels reasonable to control, and if you know what you're doing, you can go 
kind of fast with it. It is a little bit clunky, it is a little bit rough around the edges, and I would prefer Classic Sonic's normal gameplay to it, but it's really not that bad so long as you don't have it in huge doses. Either way, all we have left to do here is to find that third key, which I believe is uh, down in the bottom somewhere. Yeah, I believe it's just below this. Yep, sitting right there above this platform. It's kind of weird how they designed the hub world to make the Planet Wisp Challenge gates really difficult to access, but there we go. Open up this gate, and in the next episode of Sonic Generations, we're going to be taking on the boss of this era. So thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you guys then.